Hello, and welcome to the Sci-Fi Christian. I'm Ben Anderson. I'm Ben DiBono. And I'm Daniel Butcher. And Ben, today we're here to watch something that we've never seen before. We've never seen the Clone Wars, the Star Wars CGI series. Yes, and Daniel, you've been recommending this to me. I, I, it's Star Wars all the way through, and I'm shocked that you guys have not seen this, especially since I know that Star Wars is number one on your list. It is. It's sure it's number like 35 five. No, on yours. Which is pathetic. But what would you... It, Oh, let's ask Daniel, since yeah. we're here. On our first episode of the Sci-Fi Christian, we gave our top five. Um, it's number one. So, so Star Wars would be your number one? Star Wars is always number one. Absolutely. All right. Wow, that's yeah. good. So that's your top. That's your number one sci-fi property. Number one sci-fi property. Now, I have okay. seen the original Clone Wars cartoon on Cartoon Network that they did before this actual series. You mean the movie that was sort of like... No, no, no he's talking about the micro series. Yeah, they had like these four or five minute shorts. Oh, yeah, those were yeah. cool. Those were okay. They were okay, but they're they're not this. This okay. is much more directed towards a cohesive storyline. Uh, and yeah. to be honest, those, I don't know how much influence the creator had in on them, but yeah. these, George Lucas has got his fingers in it all the way. And okay. is that a good thing or a bad thing? Overall, except for some... Uh, I'm going to... Be honest here, except for some really boring episodes about politics, it's generally been a good thing. I remain unconvinced on that point, but ben, we shall see. Let me say this. I went with my sister to go see the movie that I think was sort of like the pilot of the series. Is that mm -hmm. how you would that see was, it? it was, that movie was originally designed to be the pilot, okay. and instead of putting it on TV where they should have put it, they made the mistake of putting it in theater. I put it in, oh yeah, so they put it in theaters, I went to see it, and paid... Like nine dollars a ticket to see it yeah. because you know Star Wars it is wasn't awesome. Terrible. Mm -hmm. It was terrible. Terrible. It's not that terrible. To me, I think my expectations no, but, were so but high. But I'm glad you brought that up because okay. what you're about to see, we're about to watch the Night Sister trilogy. So we're not watching it in order. No, right. we're, we're going to watch what okay. Daniel says are the best. We're giving episodes. Daniel the best chance to yeah. convince us so, to be fans. And, and not only is am I trying to convince you of this? This is a, a trilogy that, in order to make up for putting the movie out there, okay, they uh, actually went to about five or six different cities and showed this trilogy uh, in the movie theater for free to some fans. Okay, because. They're trying to say, okay, that movie, it was okay, it was yeah. nothing great. We would have been really happy if we put it on TV, but in, on the big screen on the movie theater, it wasn't working for us. Yeah. So they wanted to come back three years later and say, now we've got something that oh, we think I'm, is really good. I'm interested. I'm interested too. So Matt predicted star rating out of five. I, well, Star Wars, I, I believe Daniel's opinion, so I'm going to give it, um, I'm going to say four out of five. I'm going to say three and a half out of five. Oh. I love Star Wars, but I'm mostly an original trilogy fan. Yeah. I'm expecting a little bit this to be more in the vein of the prequel series, and so I don't think it's going to be amazing. Daniel, what's your prediction? Uh, I'm predicting <laughs> that Ben will hopefully like it better than he's predicting. I, I hope you are correct. So. Well, should we flash forward to future version of us that has seen the series? Yes. So we have just finished the first three episodes. And I gotta say that we're gonna do our full review after we're done here, but it's not looking good. I am at a two and a half star rating for you, Clone Wars. Well, okay, we watched the trilogy called Night Sisters. Yeah, and it was going pretty well. It was but going you well. Like the end. I, there was a, a twist at the end where it turns out Darth Maul is alive. This is spoiler. Pathetic. This spoiler is alert. Pathetic. <laughs> no, 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 it shouldn't even be a spoiler because it's just pathetic. That, that no one no one should care that this turns out to be the case. It, it's just it's a ter terrible twist. Darth Maul is clearly dead at the end of Phantom Menace. He got cut in half. He got cut in half. He got dropped down the shaft. Which we is, never heard doing. But this like any time like the Emperor gets dropped down the shaft and, and it's just that's like the death thing for Jedi. I'm pretty and Seth. sure I'm pretty sure in the Blu-ray we're actually gonna have a doing. Yeah, for I, the we, pro we probably will because George Lucas is such an idiot. I'm so disgusted with with Lucas so, right now. We're about to watch just two more episodes. Yeah. And it's two parts of a trilogy that is brand new, so the third one isn't even out yet. Is that correct? No, it is not. And out it's yet. about the Force. It's yeah, about the Force. I'm Zoom, expecting we could get down to a one and a half or one by the Zoom. time these two episodes are over, but we'll see. All right. Should we flash forward to future version of us that is watching the next two? So we are back, having just finished watching five episodes of the Clone Wars. We watched the Night Sisters trilogy, and we watched Secrets, Secrets Revealed. Revealed. Secrets Revealed. Yeah. Which. Um, we saw the first two parts because the third part won't air until next Friday. So this is going to be all spoilers. Prepare yes. yourself. Matt, what did you think? Well, Ben, I'm glad you asked. Night Sisters was, I thought, okay. Maybe. Yeah. It was, 
interesting, but uh, the, it was okay. It was the, a lot. The, the villainous had like the worst plans in the universe. Oh yeah, the best the line. The best line was. So will he? Will so really she, cast, she casts an invisible spell on the people, and they ask her, "Will he really be invisible?" And, and then the main one says, "Yes." Perhaps. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> it's like surefire guarantee there. So that was kind of out there a bit. But then the second, the two parts of that trilogy, Secrets Revealed, that we saw, I thought that was cool. But you were making sighs of disgust the whole time. Here's my take on it. Okay. As far as quality goes, um, I'd agree that you know quality of Secrets Revealed was better. And I would probably give it... Three and a half, four stars as far as it was well done. It was well made. But as far as jiving with original trilogy, Star Wars, in terms of style, in terms of themes, in terms of content, not even close. So, what the hell? Yeah. Well, first of all, it, just like the prequels, they don't feel like they're they're in the same stylistic vein as the original trilogy. This was that and even more okay. so. Okay, do we have space battles? Yeah. Do we have lightsabers? Okay, but do we have Jedi? Do but we, have we also Sith? have a mystical family who represents the Force living on a but, planet that's created by the Force. Yeah. And what does Obi One Kenobi say that the Force is? He didn't say it. He says it's it, mystical. He, he didn't say it creates planets, man. But it doesn't mean it. It, it doesn't. No, he but doesn't there, there's nothing in the original trilogy that would make you think that what we just saw would fit with that world. Well, whatever. so I would give four stars for quality, one star. As an original trilogy fan of Star Wars, Daniel, what would you give to Secrets Revealed? Uh, to Secrets Revealed, uh, hadn't thought about it already. I love the show overall. Uh, I mean, I watch it every week. Um, they've had some real stinkers mm -hmm. in season three. I sh don't tell anybody, but they have. They've had some some iced tea episodes that were a little awkward and strange. Wait, we won't talk about it. Poisoned iced tea. It was weird. Um, I love ice tea. Um, but it's for so for this season, I mean, the season right at the moment, so the second half, it's it's on an upswing right at the moment. So I mean, four stars. So we watched the last five episodes that have aired then. Yeah, yes. Right? So that was that by plan? Did you do that on purpose? Or did, no. do you really think that's the best stuff that's been? No, well, I think the second half of the season has been the best stuff so far, and they were in, this is the beginning of the second half of the season. Good. What's your rating, Matt? I will give as a total rating. I predicted four, but I'm going to go down to. 3.5, I don't know. I mean, I, I want to give it a little bit more than medium good, yeah. but not all the way up to 4, because 4 are reserved for my, some of my favorite things. I think that, here's what I would say, is if you really enjoyed the prequels, you'll probably love this, since I am pretty mediocre on the prequels, I was pretty mediocre on this. I, I love it. It's Star so, Wars. So, Daniel, you said that you... Not all one, Star Wars is created equal, man. So, you think that... Daniel, do you think one of the main mysteries of the, sh the Clone Wars show is... Um, what's the character's name? Well, I, I think there's a few things going on. One of the main mysteries of the Clone Wars is what's going to happen to Ahsoka. Ahsoka, who is? Uh, uh, Anakin's Padawan. She's not in the third movie. Right. Um, so yeah, it's one of those things where we know where Anakin's heading, but yeah. we, we have zero idea where Ahsoka's heading. Mm -hmm. And and then the, I think the other thing is, is I'll argue that when you take all six movies, it Star Wars is a tragedy. You know, the rise and fall of a hero. Yeah. And this only this only further strengthens the fact about Anakin's issues with relationships, his anger issues, the drinking problems that he has. Here's what I thought. When I, when I was watching when I was watching the episode today and we saw that the evil son started taking over. Yeah. I felt like in a sense it was trying to give Anakin more of an excuse on why he turned bad. Yeah. Is like because what we saw in the movies maybe wasn't enough, so now they're trying to make yeah, him even more an of an explanation though. He's becoming even more of a sympathetic character. See, I thought what was in the movies was fine as far as why he turned bad, and yeah. I didn't think we needed more of an explanation. Yeah, because right now what they're gonna be saying is that this evil son who now has unbalanced the force yes. is causing the one to be more evil. You know, Matt, I just realized something amazing. What? You are dressed in light color standing by this very bright window which is washing your face out while well, I am in black standing on the darker half of the shot we are like the force right now I am like the good side and I am the dark side and you were positive on the show and I was negative on the show and in this is amazing actually in real life you're evil and yeah. I'm less evil I, I, I channel my inner Darth Tater Daniel, do you want to be on as we sign off? I'm good. Okay. All right, well, Daniel can't come back, so I think that that's good. So Daniel gives it a five, I'm thinking. You give it a... 
Overall, I would say, if I brought my two ratings together, because I, I did think it was good quality, I thought it was well done, I would say two and a half out of five. And I'll give it a three and a half out of five. So, that's all from here. I'm Matt Anderson. I am the dark side of Bendy Bono. And for Daniel Butcher, we are the Sci-Fi Christians, signing off. <laughs>